Uh, let's start this uh, your own Yoru um, analysis. <laughs> but first, we have a message from Sliggy. Oh, wait. I muted myself. Ah, so funny. Dude, lo Lofa, oh my god, yeah, Lofa's asleep. He's gonna wake up. This, I was. This might be the happiest he's ever been. Oh, well, let's hope so. He's gonna, he's gonna wake up. He's gonna think it's a normal day. He's gonna go, oh, I'll check out what the score was yesterday. Like, That's how it was. The games. He's gonna look at it and go, okay, well, let me just quickly look at, like, what was going on. He's gonna click on bind. He's gonna lose his mind. <laughs> I didn't lose my mind, but I, but I just, like, exhaled out of my nose a little bit, you know? I, I just, like... Exhale from my nose Maybe and went like, mm, smirked. Visually see him happy. But. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, what? <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, um, let's do the Yoru and Yoru analysis. Let's see how that goes. Um, it's actually kind of interesting that uh, we have this metagame. We'll see. If the Yoru was actually used in a nice way, I hope so. We have two of them, so there's a high chance, you know? The Rostamania is a deadly play. Uh, uh, so wait, wait. First, let's see which composition actually supports Yoru more. Which composition supports Yoru more? It's actually interesting because 100 Thieves composition has a Sentinel that doesn't really support Yoru in any way. Uh, Habo is like, yes, you can work it out with Habo because of the walls and flash combination. And also the TP can then TP out in different spots because of the wall. So that's cool. So that's some, com some combos with the Habo. Then Sky is like, whatever. And Brimstone Ultimate is fantastic and Steam Beacon for the ult. Um, so essentially you can get three kills with the Yoru. Then on the other side, the difference is, there's a Viper instead of Harbor. So also, not really a lot of possibilities here, unless you go for non-meta walls. So Harbor is definitely more combo for Yoru, although not, you know, it's not like a huge factor anyway. And then we have Zekken, which can be enabled by the Yoru, but also doesn't, like, <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I would absolutely love to see, instead of Sky, a fade, but then they lose the flashes that are additional, so then maybe it will be better to play maybe KO instead of uh, Raze, but then you cannot really lose Raze on Bind, so you get my point. It's not easy to actually make a composition that works um, for maps like this, but yeah. So, um, we're gonna be focusing on the Euro plays, but we're gonna talk about everything. So, there's a huge aggressive push for A short for plus, and then you can see that there's a TP uh, for Yoru on B. This is why Yoru is also so, like so, let's say, flexible on defense because you can do stupid st shit like this. That you can just literally just push in through short with four players and then still have two players on B, which is very cool. Yeah. Alright, have a wall for B. He TP'd back to B. Okay. By the way, uh, if you're not playing Euro a lot, this is actually a bug that has meaning. Um, the the gloves are glowing. <laughs> okay. Uh, the gloves are glowing blue when the other Yoru that is in the game has a TP active. Oh wait! Hens doesn't have the TP active. Maybe not active, but still there. Okay, let's pay attention to that. Oh, Asuna died anyway. But still, Sentinels don't use that to be able to get out into the side. Yeah. Player advantage to play slowly. Is, is Tens like the Tens disconnect or something? Or is he like trolling? What, what's going on over here? Guys, I'm not stupid, no? He's literally trying to think that he's a clone? What? Oh, that's what he's doing. He's going for the clip. Yeah, he's... Oh, he literally... Uh, yeah, that'd be 
they stand. Yeah, we may no, have I'm sure we're gonna... Hmm. Did they replay this round or something? That's a great start. This is like very EMEA like. Okay. Thank God I'm not watching this live. Okay, so they didn't replay the round. Okay. I mean, they didn't need hands anyway, so they can just play 4v5. All right, so what do we have here? Aggressive chamber TP, and they are being conditioned by Asuna that he TPs from A to B, which might matter for the future rounds. But he leaves a TP for A. Wow, wow nice shot. What a reaction. Dodging a flash, adjusting the aim craft still finds one. Eventually traded, though. Did, did Tenzo use anything? No, he went for a bulldog full kit. Small shields. Why are you pushing? Why are you pushing? Not getting away with it, is he? No. And you would think that but good really discipline by Sentinels. I like that. Because they got just a freebie because of that. Because of the discipline. So you're not expecting them to find too much value here. One and done spot. Diligence from Sentinels. You wake up pretending to be a Euro clone? Yeah, that's me. Not giving anything away. Will this corner get cleared? Uh, you could maybe argue that that flash was not really even really needed, but only if you know that there's only one player there. Uh, he hears the TP. He knows the clone, but he sees, by the, by the way, that's why, as a Yoru main, I don't like the TP into default, because you can literally see it, it's a fake. Beautiful crosshair placement. I want to. What, what I'm really interested in is to is to how effective are gonna be the Yoru ultimates because that's the most important part of his kit to be used effectively, and that's something that I'm really interested to see how those teams utilize that. Are they gonna lose this round? So winnable and very winnable at that. 77 health. Stella with the cove pushing forward. Spots it, anticipating it. A push forwards into the play over the top as well, using the cove against Lul. him. Sassy. There has to be an attempt to stick. No, ha okay, he lost. Guessing, and it's a gamble here. Tons of it a kill. Literally okay, lost because he didn't get a half. See? Done. I wouldn't expect like Stella to not do that actually. And an excellent attempt from Stella. That puts the squeeze on Sentinel's economy. Holds it in its tracks. I mean, losing all of those players. This is cinematic. I like it. <laughs> Taking a look down be long. So a huge economical damage. So, um, but I like the fact that Sentinels just buy in because they need, they need to. Like when you think about it, uh, when you think about it, when you lost all the players in your second round, right? Then in the round three, you should full buy in because from a economical standpoint it actually makes more sense to full buy into this round because if you win this round against the defenders who are on the first buy, you will put them in a rough spot economically. And for you, it will mean that you will go into a half buy. But if you wouldn't full buy this round, you would do a bonus, which, ex which is essentially a half buy. So, huge difference if you win the round, no? You are only motivated to do a half buy if you saved some guns. From hundred thieves. Time to jump. Let's see the setup. Flash into the high tide here. But the flash opens the door so Asana can reposition. If he gets cleared in this area, he's always got the gate crash away into spawn. Yeah, that is very interesting. What, what is the Yoru setup here? Pence didn't he just use the how did he use the TP? Flash. Time to jump. Oh for rotation. Let's see the setup. Oh, okay. That's well, disappointing. Opens the door so Asana can reposition. I mean, not disappointing, but he's like not using anything for the showers yet. And this looks like it's so how he's gonna how's gonna do it? They got two two one 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 off the trademark, which default, and Yoru's able to. So ready to collapse. All right, let me let me see this. So the only reason why he put the clone onto the ground is to have better timing with his flash. Because if you would activate it from your hand without putting it on the ground, 
you are not able to have a swap to the flash. So let's see how he uses it. Observer, go to Yoru, please. Go to your go to Yoru now. He activated the clone. Did he flash? He did. If only Sen Tens would have known about the gun drop technique. Yeah? Also, like he out aimed them and he played with the flash, right? But the thing is, look at the Yoru clone uh direction. It's really not good. The Yoru clone is so easy to read. It's a Yoru clone in this case. It's like really not helpful. Like he goes in a straight line. Which player would do this? Right? Which player would do this? Like I'm only nitpicking because those those things will actually matter if Yoru is being used more. Like the way you want to do uh the way you want to do this this clone to be actually more impactful, to trick people into actually shooting it, is to imitate how a player would actually run. So when he puts the clone like this, he should be aiming the clone to run in a direction to bait people into shooting it. So if you put the clone like this direction, so it goes like strafing, blocks itself on the wall, goes straight, and it goes like this, it creates a moment when he slows down near the corner, and that can literally make people shoot it because it will not make any noise. So people might think that it's an actual real player, but if he just goes in a straight line into a fucking wall, no one's falling for that. Literally no one's falling for that, right? So... The speed of the of the footsteps is really easily recognizable, uh, but also the direction the clone is going in. Again, I'm only nitpicking because I want you two guys to learn. But tens isolated the gunfights into one v ones because of the flash usage that we unfortunately didn't see. <laughs> There's no indicator, only the door opening up from the flash, you just don't expect it. TP, get your way out of there. Sliggy was wrong, still not happy. I'm, I'm grumpy, man. I'm nitpicky, I'm grumpy, you know? Oh, oh he used the ult, okay. So he uses the info, he, he has no TP, so he is gonna commit. Okay, one, two, but he's not running out of time. He's not using flash, he just TPs out, okay. Oh, wait, he did flat have a TP. Never mind, I'm stupid. I would love to hear voice comms from Tens to see how he's communicated, dude. Oh my god, his Yoru is so good, man! They do just that. Three players surviving. Beautiful conversion. Three in a row. This is economy back. Sentinel's third bonus round of the series so far. And how did these attacks? Oh, 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 wait, wait. Maybe we can see the flash. Third bonus round of the series so far. And this one particularly devastating no. to me because it comes against hundred thieves on defense. Burb was not even in showers, no. Is in the hands of Cryo. And that's same setup. No, Tens didn't use the TP yet. Well, now he's gonna use it because of the, that TP from the other Yoru. No, he just goes back. Okay. Well, that was easily readable, actually. So good, good, uh, good play by Tens to go, to be like, nope, that's a trap. Because if they TP, there's an there's like, there was like an attacking smoke from the defenders, right? You can see here, like this is an attacking smoke right here because it expands into this area, so it makes it easier to take control of this area here because you can just step out easily from the smoke right uh and then the tp signals that there might be a crunch so you fully expect a flash either from sky or from the yoru from the tp and then holding this just makes absolutely no sense like just why take the risk even if you set up a tp by your it's better just not to risk it you know, it's a low buy, you don't gain much, but you go into a position where you can get punished. 
And this, I think, is where you want those tactics to come through. <laughs> it doesn't look like particularly set up for it. They're going to go through the teleport. See nice. The controllers from behind. Oh, we actually TP'd against... Yeah, so see, this is why I grinned. I'm like, he faked on the previous round, but he actually TP'd this round, and then he peeks into a low buy when there's absolutely no way that he can get traded. This, this is literally... I predicted that this, this might actually happen, and that's why I was like... Ugh. This is not good. Like, see? Like, this trade was so late, it doesn't count as a trade. You mean defending smoke? Did I say attacking smoke on the showers? Yeah, I meant defending smoke because it, like, peeks out into the attacker's, uh, uh, attacker's zone. My bad. In kind, pound for pound, back in the side, be There's not a single trade being set up by Sentinels. Oh my god, yeah. That is insane. No, it's not insane. It's literally tens throwing the round. Literally, literally the TP from Yoru from tens this round right here is mistimed and like zero cents you're risking against the lower buy look like there's absolutely no one that can trade you stella just gets a freebie a 50 50 freebie but literally the reason why the round is most likely lost and the conditioning here really for 100 thieves is that even when they make teleport not to happen it's in order. A ball dog. It doesn't look great. <laughs> After winning three rounds. Just the one. Of course, the other trades were also horrible. So that's not only Tens's fault. But it is start it is starting Snapback with Tens. High tide. Mm, all right. Same setup. Yoru takes showers alone. Mm. Harbour walls defensively in front of Hookah. And there's the chamber trap in deep in Hookah as well. I like the setup from defenders, actually. It's like it creates a lot of pressure. Like you you never know if someone is peeking outside of this range here. Uh so you have to be very aware. Brimstone is in danger, actually. I'm very surprised that he goes so close to Hookah because he has absolutely no idea what he what he's gonna expect. Yeah, this clone man, look. No one is gonna shoot it. Let me let me take a look at the at the, at the flash. Okay, so the pop flash was nice, but this this clone doesn't do anything. There's a little bit of conditioning towards showers. I believe a flash actually just missed into showers, so 100 Thieves don't have information. There's a setup the here by by Asuna with a clone from Garden that he's going to activate moments before yeah, they peak. See it. And look at this TP. Yeah. Doubled up. Snake bite. Close to it. Sort of force. All right, so the clone had multiple purposes. So the reason why he, the clone was aimed like this but still can be used for the players here, is I actually didn't anticipate that they're going to like shoot it, but they shot it anyway, which is okay. Uh, but it has like a second purpose just to create a pressure into into showers and it can be used during the round as well Evacuated. You do not to fake a rot rotation. Like a setup like this, literally you cannot read it. Sentinels have absolutely no idea if there's danger on long, if there's like potential setup for an aggressive push out of showers, like they have absolutely no idea because there can be multiple things happening with that with that one clone. So they gained no info whatsoever. And now, okay, well, was that real TP? Was that a fake TP? Did they just crunch showers? We have no idea because we have no one in showers. It's just a bait and switch. Yeah, so much baiting with the teleports happening. Asuna gate crashes away. There's four players. Uh, Asuna's thinking about it. There could be four players ready to collect set. 
throws the game plan into disarray. It's a bit of a team clash, reckoning. How about to stop the push? Brimstone ultimate from defense. They didn't get combo though with the Harbour. 26 seconds. Do they have more utility to stop the plant? Not really. That's a molly, but that's about it. Alright. Alright. Did he die? No. There was a lot of damage though on Sussy. Oh, Jesus. And now he gets the. Oh, my God. Oh, actually, if he ulted backside to help himself. Okay. A little bit less, like, helpful for the team, but I understand why he did it. Asuna gets a 2k. Pre set up the TP. Fake TP. Okay. But they've saved? What? Uh, Asuna has 50, okay, like, hmm, hmm, yeah, kind of running out of time, I think if Asuna would have had more HP, would have probably called it, like, fuck it, I'll ult, alright, and that meant they weren't in position to be able to swing bench off Derek's flash. Marth was able to take that full to the face and still recover and get the, the kill on his opposing number. Just sitting there. Yeah. So the timing not working for 100 Thieves defense. Have a set plan around Asana's ult. These are the kind of things that 100 Thieves in the past have been... Similar excellent. setup from Sentinels and Attack, but a TP... Uh, sorry, there's no one in Long B. What is the plan? Okay, so he conditioned that he TPs, but he also opened the doors already. But so they know that there's someone in the showers. He just peeks out. Yo, Tens, please start using gun drop te technique because no one is falling for this shit. What is going on here? It's, it's not a... No, I know, I know. But he's tracking it. <laughs> he's away. He does it. I, I saw like, it. literally he's no way out. that this... Uh, a fake decoy play. Sliggy, I'm not happy. I'm not I'm not happy. I just see this tier one pro players that, that spend ungodly amount of hours in the game and they play Yoru so much as well in ranked, right? They play a lot of Yoru in ranked, both Tens and Asuna if I'm not mistaken. And that clone is just bad, but then he just kills Cryo by headshotting him. The seekers also letting 100 Thieves know that there's still players over towards B. I've it gives Sentinels train. the perfect timing to commit to A. Only laid down though. Gonna stunt this push as it's coming through. Double satchel play into lamps. Be contained for them. I'm also kind of like really mad that they're not trying to... I, okay, so that, that that is just me being uh, unreasonable. Because I cannot reasonably assume that everyone would have the same playstyle on your that is just not a possible that everyone has different plays on Yoru, and this is a professional team that has set strategies and so on. Personally, specifically also on rounds like this, I would love to see the Yoru ult being used aggressively on defense to gather space, to gather info, and to kind of try, <coughs> sorry, to do trap plays. <coughs> but that is my own opinion, sorry for that. With a flash this time, will there be that follow up? TP is all over the place. There's occurring flashes into the back of it. Send one to try and fight for the back of the site. That was just nice cascade from Sentinels. They just went close in with trades possible, so they get trades and they win on numbers now. But now Sassy just does this for absolutely zero reasons. There's absolutely zero reasons to peak in this moment because it actually makes the retake possible if pancada doesn't win this gunfight they might actually lose this run just because of sassy uh, peaking from showers for absolutely no reason because they had players on side that could have played contact Where sentinels are given all of the space they need on it. The crossfires are just not there. There was one player over towards bench and showers. Like hundred thieves kind of control that area on their defense side. Oh, we're getting a replay of that. Okay. Uh, same setup, but this time players on long create a fake pressure. So that 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 was actually nice. That was actually nice. But hands the set up the TP towards B, but holds showers. Sorry, holds short this time, not showers. I wonder what was the call here for that, because Vita also holds it. Did they anticipate like a like a play 
from aggressive play from 100 thieves with the Yoru ult, maybe? But they just peek out of the shots. Asuna has his ultimate now. This is the third round he has his ultimate. Nothing's working for them. Like, this is something that it actually drives me nuts in EMEA. When I see teams that are losing multiple chances to get value out of like really good tools because they are just I don't know worried about not getting value out of the stuff that they have all right see like this 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 clone is okay because it it aims not in a straight line so there's a high chance someone will shoot it Okay, tens. This time is a good, good, uh, good TP. But then again, why on earth is Harbo playing in that position? Just, just look at this. Why is why is Stella as a Harbo standing here under Hookah when he exactly knows that there's like four flashes that's gonna attack the site? You know, like the player from. Wait, didn't he get flashed by Derek? I think it... Oh my god. Wait, I think that was flashed from his own teammate. Look at the minimap. Did Derek flash? Let me check. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now, so now we know. That was really weird. And I was like trying to find an answer. Now we have an answer. He literally gets team flashed fully. That's why he was standing on side. They had a set play. I mean, not a set play. Just a normal play with Derek. On Sky that is standing in elbow, but he fully flashes Stella. So Stella just dies for no reason and it looks really awkward. Not ready for the double face, Asuna. That rifle. Cutting through. He's got three players to contend with, and no one's given him an opening, are they? He dodges Derek's flash. I think it was Ten's flash. No, that's not Stanza's flash. There's literally... Condition. When the he dodges the flash. Back. There's literally no other flash happening. It's literally Derek's flash. There's no other flash available. Tens has his still the flash corner. there. Decoy, the bullet. He dodges the flash from Yoru. Right here. And then Derek uses his, and that's when he gets fully flushed. This may already be over. 100% it's, it's his own teammate's flash. 100%. Very tough. And for Mike, I mean, what? Saving that that's why they're not using this round, the Euro Ultimate. The point is, this Euro Ultimate is available for three rounds. If you would have used it in that retake, which I, I understand why they didn't use it, because it was a lower chance of actually winning that round, but that would be already three orbs, right? So you will be halfway towards another Ultimate. Ultimate from Yoru is also a kill Ultimate, which is able to get you, like... Uh, will be available to give you advantages so people not using it on lower buy rounds is also kind of trolly because it is a tool that is able to be used just like a jet ultimate on an eco or a chamber ultimate on an eco you can get advantages in those rounds that you're not expected to win and they are one six they shouldn't be saving ultimates for having value they should be using everything to try to win rounds these have not been aggressive. Very Showers push earlier. Trials are not, and he is in danger. So this is a full buy round. This is the first time we see Sentinels were actually not a default setup. There's the TP that goes into Cubby.
Tens is using again an ultimate. If I'm not mistaken, guys, if I remember correctly, this is the second time we see Tens use an ultimate, and we didn't see a single one from Asuna yet. And it's round eight. Here we go. Alt online for Tens. Picking out these players. Decoy inside the smoke. Okay. In his hands. Looking to make the most of it. I, I, I think that was fine. I, I think that was fine. He made a play. He tried to go out of the... Like, what, what he does is... He knows about the harbor. He knows about the chamber that already TP'd out. So he tries to bait people into shooting the clone because he activates the clone and goes out of the ultimate, which then indicates that this player right here might be actually him right so this might bait people into shooting it it doesn't go it doesn't go according uh to him because he gets fully flashed by his teammate so uh that's quite unfortunate like, what is going on with those sky players there's also no one here but it is what it is but he 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 gets literally scared away by his own teammate but also what the hell is this smoke from mouth what the only reason to do that smoke here is if you actually have a set play so maybe they tailored it for that euro ultimate but at the same time you really don't need it. Like, this is not a good smoke. In any way. And the only reason I see would be the Euro Ultimate. But this this Euro Ultimate doesn't need that. Oh, well, that that Viper Spit... That is definitely not good. That's a lot of mistakes here happening from Sentinels. Like, alright. Let me let me see. When when did he initiate the ult? It's five v four. He activates the ult. Right? He activates the ult. They have four players that will get full information. So Asuna goes in, gets the info about one player, then gets the info about the Viper. They don't, u don't use any kind of shoot me tactic because they could have. In a moment like this, they have a 5v4, right? They have a 5v4, use the Yoru ultimate to get informations, and none of the players that are with the Yoru actually try to get any kills because they don't use any kind of movement to gain the space that Yoru is getting them. So, Tens literally wins that round by using one flash. Imagine, imagine if the Yoru would actually clean lamps and they would just kill the Viper because of the Yoru, the Yoru ultimate is one of the best counters to Viper. They could have literally killed the Viper with a 5v4 by going into lamps and just body shotting the Viper. But yeah. Ready to move forwards here into LCQ. B long has been where 100 Thieves have these kind of tricky setups playing. But as soon as they realize. Did he go for the all for an ultimate? For bang, right? I think so. See if that ends up being the same again. Oh, he gets damaged by the snake bite. They are not ready. Like this is this is a sentinel. Uh, this is a fanatic um, uh, viper snake bite, by the way. That lands in garden. Look, look at the sky position right now on the left side of the screen, right here. I don't know why on earth is 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 even like Derek using it from this location because they already have seen the fanatic snake bite in this game being used. And in general, it's, it's such a metagame snake bite that you shouldn't be using 
like that position at all. So he gets punished. Look, they get zero information from the doggo because Sass, uh, sorry, because Derek is standing in the meta position of the snake bite. Trailblazer through showers. So that was a Viper Molly being sent over from Pancada ashore that cancelled that Trailblazer out. Derek trying to take another peek at this one now. He's out in the open, needs somebody to try and bail him out, dodges the flash to the side, Cryo, high ground, angle, but can't get it done, orbital strike, it's late, it's delayed for second, he's in the action, he's in the fight, and he's in the thick of things. So that's nice. Let me just see, uh, is Zekin being supported by Tens here? I think so. They should be... Wait, is Bang using this ultimate right here? Okay, so I was complaining about uh, 100 views not using the ultimates to gain to try to gain advantages, but this is literally trolling. Like they have a three v four, three v four. Let's see the timing. Maybe he was just off time because he already committed when there were more players alive. Let me check this. No, this is just troll. All right, so they lost two players, and then he decides to ultimate uh, on a really on a lower up. buy in a disadvantageous situation. Like, like this is really not a good decision. And he Asuna shoots the clone. Tens doesn't use the flash, so the so the clone literally gets the kill for for Zekin, and then Tens gets the last kill on site. All right. And these hits, unstoppable. A different Sentinels. One that's able to barrel their way into sites, get huge value from both of the duelists. Remember, this is a team that was 2 and 11 on attacking first kill. Canada, I have absolutely no idea. A team that has been disastrously poor. Gap joke, the match for the one year. Yo, welcome back, Gap joke. Thank you so much for the one year support. It looks trivial for them to just open the door and cruise in. It's domination on display. So, even though the B execute is not really anything complicated, and it's actually only one TP that Tens does, their setup on the execute here is pretty nice because they're committed and they support each other. So, this is pretty nice. And again, look at this. Look at this. They literally get affected by the same, same snake bite again. Okay, so this time they actually... Derek gets the kill because... Why on earth is Zekin just picking along there? Five, four players going long, and no one, no one trades. That's unfortunate. Again, again, one by one. Oh. Much more investment in terms of how they were fighting over B long, and this time Sentinels went for it instead of just prodding there and disengaging. Okay, hmm. Optimus Crime, thank you much for the 14 months. Welcome back, buddy. My favorite name on Twitch. How are we doing? Even if you're the only one, but what, what, what is the chance of 100 Thieves making a level of comeback like they did on Pearl when the sides are swapped and they've looked so poor on attack? I, I'm struggling to feel the birth of hope yeah it's it's so it still hard, feels man. very it's two rounds ba -da -da -dam, bam, bam. you know you're looking at a4 potentially the best you could hope for but you're 100 thieves 100 on thieves throw or was your sentence just better i'm watching the f this match first time so i have absolutely no idea yet we're doing an analysis That's a good good angle. Like the, the timing is actually pretty good. This like look 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 how Tens positions himself to be covered by the clone. That is such a nice timing. It's definitely planned by him. Like you can see that he is setting it up. Just pay attention to pay attention how he how he uses it. All right, flash first. The clone goes in. And then he already pre setups that angle that he knows is gonna be clear because he used the flash. So when he flashes this here, bloop, the player from this angle is gonna go back. So he's gonna have the timing on this angle. And then this clone has a high chance of being exactly in that moment when the player will re peek into him. And that's literally what's happening. That's, that's a nice play. Single handedly controlling showers. So consistent. 
Doesn't matter who faces him, he's winning the duel every time. Yeah. This Hello, Animus. He's only winning just over a quarter of his first duels in the regular season. He's on point with it. Your ultimate from Tans. Uh, see now. <laughs> He could have literally, he could have literally just ulted and get, and get so much value this round. Instead, just goes for a play that doesn't really do much. Why on earth is Marv using this smoke on here? This is this is the on molly. Yeah. This. This is no. This is a uh, wait. This is marved molly. Why are you pushing through this? I was like we're trying to figure out the damage, but I was like, this. What the hell? Uh, I guess uh, the smoke works when you also put a molly into it and someone pushes through it. And not necessarily with the most elaborate set plays in the world, but with players in exceptional form yeah has been a menace yeah, because it's flash with the back so you can flash battle from it the thing is like look this smoke right here you can literally see it is better for the defenders if they hold backside if you're holding backside from any angle over here it's easier for you to shoot a person that is peeking out of the smoke because the angle is is a is a straight line so it's easier to hold crossfire uh, sorry, to hold the crossbow placement against a player like this. And if the smoke is the normal smoke that teams should be doing, so like this, right? Then it creates pressure from a player um, that is standing in this spot, in this spot, in this spot, because those angles are isolated and they cannot really like trade efficiently. And also, the player that is from triple cannot really peek out because he's going to get exposed. Uh, the only advantage that the defenders get from the other smoke that is put in here, put in here, is because they can isolate a shower uh, player if they pick out into triple, but then they also cannot just stop the planter from planting. So yeah. I mean, the, the clone almost intercepts the shot, yeah. and Tens has just got the perfect crosshair placement. I don't think in that high pressure situation I will be calculating measures of my smokes, Mister Lota, and this is where you're wrong, kiddo, because pro teams exactly know where the smokes are gonna go, because that's what they have set up in the place. Every single team, when they do execution plans, exactly know where the smokes will go or should go. And this is not the first time that that smoke is being used by Moft. So there has to be a reason for it. But majority of the teams are not gonna use a smoke like that because they know it's not beneficial for the attackers. Oh, nice. What happened here? So Tens goes through. Seeing the best brought out of some of these players grouped up towards B. Last chance. Chen checks the entire hookah, gets full info. That is. Also, Derek is just trolling. Why is Derek trolling? Because he's. It doesn't have. That has nothing to do with this round. But pay attention. Where is he? Where is he? Um, standing. This is the already the one angle that he got punished by the snake bite from Pancada already. And also like great angle isolation by Tens. He sees Asuna, he goes to the left, isolates the angle, so he gets the kill on Derek for free. For absolutely free. They do the smokes by nature, they do not wait and see where the smoke... I guess they're like trolling or something. Yeah. On display, another attacking first kill. Asuna's time to shine. 
Yolt laid down with the reckoning as well. What's he looking for? Some form of repositioning. Dude, as soon as ultimates are just awful. The gain zero. Now push forwards over the strike. Stella. He's running for his life, but no. Once more. Brought down. Cooked to a Chris. Left up to us. And now fully blinded. Now that's, that's a... It would have to be a miracle for 100 Thieves to save their season now. The off-season looks like a black hole inexorably pulling them forwards. Yeah. Lothar literally thinks you can't miss a single inch of a smoke on one time. Lol, unreal. This is the third time he uses smoke like this in this position, Emikov. But it's okay, buddy. I'm not mad in this conversation. You seem to be mad. Well, I mean, so far, it has been anything to die with your... Because you look toward... And where, where does that come from? It was diving in and setting him up on the angles to thrive on this chamber. I don't feel like we've been able to see that thus far on 100 Thieves attacking sides. No, absolutely not. It was a stat that you brought up on the previous desk. So far in this series, only 19% of the attack rounds have been won for 100 oh. Thieves. So it's not just... But really, LCQ. All right, let's see what they have in store for the attack. Because right now, as soon as Yoru had absolutely no value, and that's when you know that the Yoru is not being used well. Because the only value from Yoru comes from the set plays and like actually utility. Otherwise, it's better to play Reyna. Pushing back any of these players, 100 thieves. He TP'd with the spike. To try and get something done here. Flash pushing them back. Enough to get that plan down and online. They have side control, but they are surrounded. They gave up Octagon. That's an interesting pistol round. Five versus five. Post planned. Literally no one long. Nice, nice flash from Asuna. Like literally. Literally wins the round here. Kill feed filling up with red. They are going to need to do this over and over and over again to do the impossible. Having said that, a great idea there. So the high tide completely cuts off B-Long. They don't have to worry about it or elbow whatsoever. Flood out from Hooker. That's one of the big advantages of running the harbor on this map with the Brimstone. Yo, Oxam alone, thank you much for the 10 months. Welcome back. It's actually 10 months, my friend. Hey, yo. The fake Yoru play there? It kind of looked like it. There's so much going on. But that is a post plan. That is an attack round. That is what they need to put on the board. Again and again and again if they want any chance of coming back into this one. Said it was necessary. It's got to be perfect. Yeah, it has to. Uh, revealing area. From here on out because Found them. So attacking TP into lamps on an eco buy when he has a vandal. And he needs to fake it, right? Yeah, he faked it. But then he goes into it anyway. Jesus. Take flight. See? Look at the smoke. Look. Look at the smoke. Oh, I wonder. I wonder why this team actually has a good smoke. Oh, shit. We had... Uh, I'm gonna welcome the subs in a moment, my friends. Thank you, Imgori and Jordan. Give me, the, give me some time. For the right clicks, but not enough to bring down his target. Tens has gone all the way into attacker's spawn here, and it's gonna come be behind with a sheriff. Oh, I mean, yeah, he's he's in rare form this today. This is insane stuff. But he shouldn't really be able to get too much done here. I'll come back to 2020. Well, uh, I'll be honest with you, right here, yeah, the best that. choice. I know it's tens. He's not gonna. He's not gonna do this. He's gonna try to win it with 38 hp but the highest win rate maybe not a win rate by but the smartest play in this situation is to throw away this phantom so the team doesn't get it back i mean yeah where was the rainer yeah exactly but uh this round goal really should just be economical damage and just picked up a rifle of his own so and you're just you, opting to save it. Yeah, you think about it. Tens and Sassy are both controlling, in some sense, the exit paths here yeah. for 100 Thieves. So they're trying to make it as inexpensive as possible. 
Although taking the teleporter would be very nice. Two, three. Out of that. Yeah, and hundred thieves are gonna okay. be fine. Saving this gun, I don't see a point. I'll be honest with you. Would we, like, in in my eyes, in Tenz's position, throwing away the Phantom somewhere away from the map and then trying to get a kill with the Sheriff to get another orb and try to damage the economy was probably the play. But he already had a good outcome anyway. Like, denying a Phantom... It's already good. Hello, merciful. Cobra. I do agree. Because you need this. And as soon as Yoru on defense was not good. I'd say like that. I have seen nothing. Oh. Double flash. That's nice. I like this. Very basic, but very effective. <laughs> Pankara, <laughs> Pankara disconnected, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was the Euro clone bait. Without the Viper Wall as well, right? So it's more dangerous for Cryo than it would be otherwise with a different composition. But he's gotten very deep. He's unaware, though, I think, of Marv in showers. No. Good job, Zekin. Showers control still not theirs. Spike planted. Leaves it up to Derek and Bang. See? Nice flash. From the triple boxes. Pops on site. And flashes as well the short. L look at the angle. So it goes like this. And explodes here. Right? So when it explodes here... It also makes certain that the player from short cannot hold it. In this case, in this particular case, the flash would have been even better if it's like for shower player, for showers player. If it would be just for the showers player, right? For the brimstone, for Marv here, when he peeks into the planter, it would have been better to flash behind him, to flash like this on the minimap behind the the, the brimstone, so he peeks immediately. And he's he, the flash on the short doesn't really matter, but he wouldn't have a chance of being f flashed by uh, his own Yoru because it's in front of him. Like the flash pops here, right? If a flash is behind him, it has the same effect on the player that is standing here, but the brimstone never gets flashed. But uh, again, I'm not saying this is wrong or anything. I'm just saying what are the other options. Really, hundred thieves came into that with slightly worse weaponry, but Asana bought up means he's down to only a stinger in this round. And Cryo could potentially play for an alt or get the tour de force online, drop the vandal, this kind of thing. But also eleven four. Asuna goes for a stinger. No, Derek goes for a stinger. He dropped the Asuna, the vandal. It's two rounds. All that stands between them and moving forwards. Now, wait, 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 wait. This is Marv's smoke. What am I watching, man? Wait, this actually make my wait, wait, wait. This might actually make some sense. Maybe he didn't want to peek out to have the smoke too much outside because of the Euro flesh. Let me check. There has to be a reason for this. Because the smoke is definitely not ideal for the defenders. Like, it's too much into showers and not much enough outside of showers. So I think he's making space for the Yoru flash. There's the Doggo. Tens didn't use the flash yet. He peeks without a flash. The 
the chalice crunch as well. They're exchanging fire. Right for to smoke some. You see, it's a trailblazer to set it up. Beautiful again. So that doesn't make a lot of sense. Ripping them to pieces. Protect the salvage by bang. Catching them unaware. But it's panicky at best. Next one is earned. One more to move forwards in LCQ. Absolute prime tens on display here. There's a reason why so many people around the world are fans of this guy and believe in him to pull off the impossible. Have you noticed that Tens is playing only small shields in a Vandal? He doesn't play only on small shields, as you can see right here. They will buy small shields when they are low on an economy, but buy, will buy full shields when they have more enough for another full buy round next. Flexibility on show. One round left. That's it. We need to get it over the line, but for Sentinels, they can feel it. Momentum's behind them. Pushing forwards now into the back here. Tens inside the TP. Cryo! Right through the smoke. Jordan in his hands, punishes it and shuts it down. Maybe that can be... He gets punished because of the smoke, by the way. To the back of the site. Trying to spot out these players. One more found, so he knows that there's two towards the back. No spam, though. No, no attempt from the rest of his team to try and actually follow up on the dimensional drift. Really quiet there. Cryo toward a force. Open angle. Top side of bench. Rifle. Jesus play, Christ, Cryo. And it is just pure precision. On Vanilla. So why not? A magical performance from him. But his team desperately needed it. <laughs> if there is any hope of a comeback, we're going to look back on this round. But it's possible. The cryo has just gotten away with a consolation prize. Yeah, only hindsight is going to tell us. We'll do that eight more times. <laughs> Quite. I mean, look at his face. It's yeah. not exuberance. No. What's in? That's when the rifle v rifle situation. The line is. There's been. So what's the setup here? Tens TPs to B, and then goes aggressively on showers, I guess, or goes through the TP from A to B. Let's see what is the plan. He actually goes short. Okay, so he has both options: cascade to 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 block the sky flash, and gain a little bit of space. Like when you think about it, it's a nice idea, but they didn't gain anything from it because of the cascade position. Like, they could have literally just hugged the corner, right? And they would have not sacrificed the cascade. This cascade gives them, like, 5 meters. The distance from here to here. It could have been also used here. But then there's a chance that the sky flash will go through, right? There's a very small chance that it will go through and not block correctly. Or it can be seen. So they wanted to avoid that. That's why the cascade is a little bit deeper. Doesn't gain them much, but it is a few meters. Really get punished by the bad info. Yeah. Interesting tech. Could have led to something here. Trailblazer close to the corner. That's a stun. Just in the wall just in case there is a flash there. Line it up. Hmm. Close to the corner. That's a stun. Marv just, just in the corner. In then he repositions. Okay, well, unlucky, I guess. 50 50. It's Cryo. Wins our first opening. That Maybe. should definitely be an exchange. Maybe he is going to ace seven times in a row. Yeah. Might have to be. Likely here, full evacuation, TPs across the board, moving away into the raise off. Well, Cryo got the kill easy on Brimstone, so that TP from them here makes a lot of sense. Oh, nice reaction from Zekken to instantly satchel out, so it's like a bad jet dash. Took a while, but hey. There needs to be a payoff with this flank timing. It could end just like this. Jesus Christ. And is that the end? How did... Ah, so Asuna set up a TP on B when he TPs and then does some pressure and TPs back to B. That's a nice backstab. That's a nice backstab from Asuna. This is the first play from Asuna that I like. That's that's the first play from Asuna that I actually like on Yoru. Form and push. 
uh, on long and the TP to A. Very similar setup to what um, 100 Thieves did on pistol round on short. This is a full group of a death ball in response. Risky plays indeed. Flash down as a need of his feet and damage. Done enough. The stinger on top to bring down Asana. A re exploration into Cryo's operator. He's just locking it down, waiting for the push now. There's a reckoning. Nah. Action's not quite there. Sassy. Wait, he. Connects, TP. Yeah, I thought he was out of range of the TP because he was. He had to move a little bit. Getting it now. And set up onto the angle bang. Good position from Bang, but it was a 50-50 actually. So it could have been risky. If he dies there in, in, in hookah, he gives him a gun and it's actually winnable for the defenders, but that didn't happen, so let's not uh, let's not complain. Five rounds. Five chances. I mean I think if they're able to get past this next round, Yoru's arguably bad. The orbital strike to try and deny a plan. Arguably bad in comparison to what? If they can completely reset the economy and the alt economy and start to get things back up maybe towards a 12-9 scoreline, then game on. Echo Geek, give me a moment. We're going to finish this VOD review and I'm going to welcome the subs then. I've seen a fake come then Jet? Well, every sure. single duelist is worse than Jet. Surely. How does this one begin? It's fast, it's rapid. It's obfuscated once more. It's it's a never fake. know what to accept. Yeah, double fake with the decoy. All the way on top. Gate crash back this way. All right, so it's like a full fake into B, and they go back to A. I like this. Although this fake tap, this fake TP, it just broke my brain. This, this does nothing. <laughs> this does nothing. It literally runs in the same direction, and it's like you're already here, buddy. That that yeah. yeah. All right. The, uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is really cool. Like, this is so much confusion for the defenders because they gained the space in lamps. So they're going to freeze now. And hopefully, they hope that defenders, that the defenders will be overzealous by clearing corners now. Or they will start rotating towards B side and the players from lamps will going to give the info that they are rotating. That's the moment when the players from short should be attacking. Now, the thing is, they have 50 seconds. So, in my eyes, one of our thieves from short players should be freezing and waiting for the info from Asuna and Cryo. Let's see what happens. Players committed. They hear two TP noises. They actually just run in. Hides, hides from behind. He reveals his position by doing okay, that. so they go into a stack because there was no info given. Unlucky. Unlucky. And they had time. Yeah, uh, this is slightly trolly. To stay alive. The Sentinel's in the driving seat. 20 seconds left. It's a pivot once more. And here's the backbreaker, Pankata. Again, lone defender, TP's behind them. No one clearing it. Derek wins the trade out, but he's swarmed. Everyone on his angle. Eight seconds left. It's impossible. It's not probable. And Sentinel's... All right. So, how do we sum up this game? We can sum up this game by saying that neither of the Yorus were like really cool. I had some maybe three, four plays that were actually pretty cool. One was from Asuna with the backstab and the others were from Tens. But they were not really like, again, coordinated. Asuna's ultimates were absolutely not valuable. Uh, Tens's ultimates were way more valuable. At least he gets info, one kill on on the on the on the sky in the back. Um, but in general, it's still like this kind of level of Yoru that it's like not even close to the potential. But you know, it's tens on Yoru, so everyone will see. Oh my God, he popped off on Yoru. It has to be good. He is good, but he would be good on every character. But yeah, um, happy that we have seen this. Maybe we're gonna see more Yoru in the future. But I don't, th I don't think so. Like the character is just so complicated to play, and the teams will have to sacrifice so much time to like iron out the details. So I don't think it's gonna be worth for them. But hey, 
I'm happy we could have we we done this. So that's an upside. Thank you for watching.